This is Google's first logo. Looks like a bunch of fridge magnets your toddler chewed up while you were off at work for the day. And this is Google's current logo. About what you'd expect from coloring in a bunch of Arial font letters. Which one do you like more? You might like the newer Google logo, and that's fair. Here's a one-way ticket to Silicon Valley Bazinga Land, you NPC. Personally, I think the bubbly deep-fried font is funnier and therefore cooler. It looks stupid, and I like that. At least there's something to say about it. The sleek new Google logo is almost boring enough to stop I'm talking about entirely, and so I will. A lot of modern logos fall prey to this sort of sleek modernization. Distilled text, lifeless and floating, minimalized to a bold white font in a lot of cases. The blocky becomes round, the colors disappear, the shapes simplify themselves, and the logo is reduced to atoms much like my will to live. Now, I hate corporations, and I have no reason to trust them, and neither should you. Companies want to line their profits, and they have more rights than we do for some reason. So if anything, I want these companies to use the boring-ass white aerial font logos fall to the ground and die. Now, they won't. In fact, most people don't care about logos very much, and that's very fair. This is a completely meaningless issue. Go outside and throw a football or something. And for the three internet nerd warriors who want to hear me continue to ramble about logos on a Saturday afternoon, welcome to the gates of hell, comrade. Now, for some logos, a modernized look makes sense. I mean, Call of Duty's logo used to be more rugged and dirty to represent the wars of old, and nowadays the games are called Modern War warfare for God's sake, so it makes sense to have this sleeker, bold white logo instead. But also the game costs $70, so fuck you, eat a gun, your logo sucks now. Some logos are still cool also, I mean, the Pirate Bay still has a cool logo. Maybe it's because it isn't a corporation seeking to sap us of all of our life energy and wallets and rule the world one day. Okay, how about Firefox's logo? I mean, it still looks kind of cool, but it's much less detailed than it used to be. The Neopets logo got brighter and honestly nicer, does that count? Some logos refuse to change, and I think that's awesome. Imagine if Coca-Cola just randomly became Red Aerial Bold. I mean, I don't drink Coca-Cola, so I guess nothing would change other than my eyes would be mildly inconvenienced in the soda aisle that I don't go into anyway. Starbucks has that classic look still, but also the mermaid in the logo is probably just as anti-union as the corporation, so I hope she drowns in midair. I guess the Disney logo is still cool, although they probably, like, eat babies underneath the swampy pathways of Disney World, so who cares? Hello Fresh, now that's a cool logo. <laughs> Wow. Okay, you caught me. I'm just saying that because I have a sponsorship with HelloFresh. I'm sorry. Screw you. Here's an ad. This video is brought to you by the great people over at HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit that makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. With HelloFresh, you get mouth-watering seasonal recipes and fresh, pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. The recipes are legitimately good. I actually used HelloFresh for a while before I even got this sponsorship, so I'm not playing around. The food's always fresh, the produce is quality, and you can finally wow your family or partner for for once in your life with a beautiful dinner. <laughs> you can also highly customize your box, swapping out proteins or even upgrading to a more luxe experience. Not to mention HelloFresh is built on sustainability. It's the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is fully recyclable. You're welcome, turtles. All recipes have pre-portioned ingredients so there's less wasted food at dinner time and HelloFresh has a streamlined supply chain that reduces greenhouse gas emissions compared to grocery shopping. Most importantly, I'm beyond lazy, so <laughs> HelloFresh makes making food swift and easy. I save so much time, money, and stress by not having to go grocery shopping all the time. It just delivers to your door and you can forget about the groceries. The step-by-step -step recipes are simple for even an idiot like me to follow, so it's a great service to freshen up your kitchen experience. So what are you waiting for? Use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POGASTROAUG16. That's POGASTROAUG16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes plus 3 surprise gifts. Once you click my description will even live update to count up the purchases. Each purchase really helps me out, so I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, welcome back from the ad deal. I'm currently sitting here seething, looking at the modern Domino's pizza logo. You know, I just realized, am I going to get sued by 89 companies after this video releases? <laughs> um, actually, I, I love your logos. Uh, they make me really happy. I'm actually very horny for Domino's, right? I would marry a Domino's pizza, actually. I think what really irks me about the distance in style between old and modern logos is that it definitely just isn't a nostalgia thing. I mean, like, sure, I see the old Subway logo and I start to froth 
from the mouth a bit and my head starts twerking, but ultimately this new Subway logo represents an overarching proven trend of logo simplification. And that's boring as hell. I hate that everything looks like an Apple computer now. Everything is simple and smooth and dumbed down. What happened to the whole Android body, huh? It's just the head now. Did they decapitate him? Okay, you know what, based. We need more guillotines in the close vicinities of CEOs. And yeah, some old logos sucked. I mean, Twitter's first logo looks like rotting Nickelodeon slime. I don't know how popular Twitter would be if the whole website looked like an episode of Fear Factor. But logo after logo, things are simplified across the board. Look at these logos compared to their past versions. Microsoft, Apple, Visa, Pepsi, Warner Brothers, Instagram, Adidas, Spotify, the Miami Dolphins, Netflix, Google Chrome, Logitech, Nickelodeon, Yahoo, eBay, Nintendo, Nike, Doritos, YouTube, Mountain Dew, Burger King, Dunkin' fucking Donuts. It's not even Dunkin' Donuts anymore. It's just Dunkin'. I'm dunking my balls in your face and doing your mother L. Did you know the old Nokia logo was a big ass fish? What the hell happened? I will become a straight up loser investor, bro, if you change the logo back to a fish. I will delete all of my bad opinions about the existence of the stock market and how predatory it is and increasing the wealth divide if you simply change that logo back to the fish. I want that fish. Fuck it, I'm buying that on a t-shirt. Logos used to be so cool, man. It used to be creative. Some artsy hipster 70s dude getting in a room designing this shit with a feather and ink on acid. Nowadays, these logos are practically automated and generated by Dolly Mini or something. Look at the old Apple logo, man. What the hell? I'll give up Linux to see that logo on the back of a laptop. Imagine walking around campus, placing a laptop down with a logo like that on the front. Your college peers would just bow down to you in shame. Think different. Yeah, nice slogan, Apple. Your computer's called cost $3,000 and look like toilet seats for robot ass. The Gap looked at their cool, skinny, tall, bougie font and thought, oh, you know what would be better? Yeah, a random floating blue cube behind Helvetica Bold. Congrats, this logo is awful. Who looks at this and thinks it's good? Looks like a printer error. DeviantArt's newer logo looks like it got chopped up. The artists were almost done finishing it, but they ran out of funds and just had to release it like that. Black and Decker doesn't even say Black and Decker anymore. It's just Black plus Decker. Nice one, jackass. Olive Garden's new logo is actually straight up insulting to the old one. The old one was amazing. This is like going into an art museum and just flamethrowering an entire gallery down. Eh, Mona Lisa? Boring. Here's Comic Sans. TGI Fridays made their logo look like less of a logo and more like a Gmod texture error. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just hit a big red button that said round shapes over and over again until their fingers bled. Here, I'm going to role play as a modern corporate logo designer for a second. Here's the modern Nerf logo, right? Cool, awesome, yeah, amazing logo. Wrong, get rid of the red crescent. The font is Roboto now, and it's just white with a black outline. That's it, enjoy, cocksuckers. Here's Quaker Oats, amazing creative logo, right? Wrong. <laughs> Head him. Posterize it. Black and white now. You get Calibri font. Fuck you. <laughs> Make all your logos look like the Dino Riders logo or like Nickelodeon Splat or else I'm just not buying your stupid product anymore. Anyway, remember my old logo? God, that thing was awful. <laughs>